The American eel is not a name heard frequently around most households. The first image that comes to your mind may be slimy and disgusting, but one group in Kingston, Massachusetts is heralding these critters as the saviors to a big problem created when humans build settlements near and around fresh water. That big problem is mosquitoes and the diseases that they carry. American eels have a unique life cycle that begins and ends in the Sargasso Sea, way out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. In the 20 plus years that eels spend away from the Sargasso, they live their lives in rivers, lakes, and streams, and can migrate over 2,000 miles to get there. American eels metamorphose like a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly, except eels have seven life stages and go through four distinct metamorphoses. It's during three of these life stages, and through one metamorphosis, that the eels can help with our big mosquito problem. Juvenile eels swim from the Sargasso Sea to the mouths of rivers all along the east coast of the United States, spanning Florida to Maine. When the eels arrive on the east coast, they're called glass eels and congregate in the millions in shallow gulfs, bays, and river mouths. When the eels hit fresh water, they begin the metamorphosis from glass eels to elver eels and transform from being completely transparent and flat to dark colored and round while hitting a big growth spurt. It's during this shift in successive life stage that the eels eat ravenously, as any teenager hitting a growth spurt does. And before the Industrial Revolution, eels could wriggle their way into any and every backwater creek and pond that was in any way connected to the river that they swam up, which is a lot of water. However, during the Industrial Revolution, most of America's rivers were dammed to harness the immense power of flowing water. After several decades, America moved away from hydropower, including water mills and hydroelectric, to focus more on electricity, oil, coal, and natural gas. Unfortunately, we never undid the damage done when those original dams were put up. This left thousands of dams with impounded water behind them, which cuts off connectivity to upstream habitats and leaves behind perfect breeding habitat for disease-carrying mosquitoes. An unfortunate byproduct of all these derelict dams is that the eels can no longer complete their life cycles in as many places. While mosquitoes had a near infinite supply of breeding habitat in ponds and lakes created by the dams, the glass and elver life cycles of the American eel had no way to access this massive and nutritious source of prey. To demonstrate their veracity, the Jones River Watershed Association put a handful of eels and mosquito larvae inside a tank next to the Jones River. We'll let that footage speak for itself. Instead of drenching sensitive habitats with all manner of insecticides that can hurt and kill more than just their target mosquitoes, the Jones River Watershed Association is proposing a more holistic approach to mosquito management by removing dams, restoring riverine and riparian habitat, and giving eels access to upstream reaches of America's watersheds, we can help control mosquito numbers while restoring critically important habitat for American eels and dozens of other migratory, freshwater, brackish, and saltwater species.